Is teeth whitening safe? I heard it destroys your enamel. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about teeth whitening and whether or not it is ruining your enamel. First of all, it's important to note that there are three different types of teeth whitening that are considered safe and effective, mostly due to the ADA seal of acceptance. When a dental product is ADA approved, it means that the American Dental Association has tested it for safety and efficacy. So whenever you're looking for one, white strips, make sure they are ADA approved since they are often bought over the counter. And another option too is custom trays. Those are made at your dental office and your dentist will send you home with both your trays and the whitening gel to put inside of them. Those are safe if used correctly. And lastly, three, there's in-office whitening, which is also safe, again, as long as it's administered by a professional and in the correct manner. So yes, teeth whitening can be safe and it won't damage your enamel if you're using legitimate whitening products and those products are being used correctly, aka you're following the instructions, reading the directions before you use it, making sure you don't wear them for longer than intended, things like that. Okay, so whitening is always safe. No, so whitening is only safe if you're using reputable products like we just talked about, the ADA approved, and or from your dental office, the trays and the in-office procedures, but whitening can be dangerous if used incorrectly or overused. So of course, too much of anything can be damaging, right? And that holds true for teeth whitening. Also, not all whitening products are legitimate, especially if you are trying any DIY whitening methods. Those are the most dangerous because they are not regulated. They have not been tested. There's no research on DIY stuff. So so my best advice is to always stay away from the TikTok trends. Don't be applying bananas or strawberries or any foods to your teeth thinking they will get them white. Stop using the purple toothpaste. It's most likely just a gimmick, a trend. There's no research showing these things are effective. And even if we do end up finding that some of this stuff actually does work, we still won't know for a while whether or not it's safe. You know what I'm saying? To be safe, if you want to whiten your teeth, be sure to use one of the ADA approved white strips or the custom trays or go to your dentist to get them professionally whitened. I do have a video all about the three options. If you'd like to learn more, I'll link that video of mine in the description box. Got it. Okay, so what about baking soda? Is that considered DIY? So it's unsafe? But there are some whitening toothpaste that say they have baking soda in them. I'm confused. So DIY baking soda, making your own toothpaste from the baking soda container is not recommended. As for the whitening toothpaste, I do have a whitening toothpaste video and baking soda video, which I'll of course link in the description box as well. But just know that whitening toothpaste, again, even if it's ADA approved, is generally fine. However, same as the whitening product, you never Ever want to overdo it. You always need to make sure you read the directions and use as instructed. Some whitening toothpastes actually say in the bottle, if you read it, they say to use it once a week and to use regular toothpaste all the other times. Just saying, you gotta read it. Ah, interesting. Okay, so my last question is, is there anyone like a certain age or a certain type of person that should not be whitening even with the safe stuff? Yeah, actually teeth whitening is never recommended for anyone with active gum disease, untreated tooth decay, cavities that need fillings, hypersensitive teeth. If you have sensitive teeth, whitening product is only going to make them more sensitive and or excessive erosion or gum recession. Again, if your enamel is thin or you have areas of gum recession, it's important to talk with your dentist or dental hygienist about how to whiten safely for your individual situation. Also, in most cases, cases, whitening is not recommended for children. This is because as their teeth are developing, the nerves are still quite large and hypersensitive. And like we said with sensitive teeth, whitening will only make them more sensitive. But for teeth that are still developing, it can create extremely unnecessary hypersensitivity. However, if your teen is super self-conscious about their tooth color, for whatever reason, always ask your dental team if there are any appropriate options for their specific needs. I'm not saying that list will never qualify for teeth whitening. I'm just saying that things like infections, like active gum disease, or tooth decay will need to be treated before you can safely whiten your teeth. So in all, it is okay to whiten your teeth with ADA approved strips, custom trays from your dental office, and or in office professional whitening. However, be sure to never overdo it. Don't whiten your teeth daily for months and months. Be sure to read the directions and know that. Most of the time, if you really want to touch up your whitening, you could do it every six months-ish. Always ask your dentist though. Confirm they agree with that generalized number of every six months. Everyone's mouth is different. But no matter what's going on with your teeth, you shouldn't be whitening every single month, nothing like that. Moderation is key. Again, if you have individual concerns, you know it. Talk with your dentist and dental hygienist. They will help you. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com or hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.